45 years ago, Boston firefighter Joe Gilmore saved three-year-old Umar and his nine-year-old sister Lisa from a burning building. Today, Umar, who's now 48 years old, has tracked down the man that saved him. Let's go watch the reunion. Just another day on the job for Boston firefighter Joe Gilmore. It's just all part of a day's work. When he braved all part of a day's work. In a Dorchester home four and a half decades ago. That is amazing. With two frightened children. You didn't well. just do your job, you did it well. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, it, yes. You we saved, you saved you. our lives and you, you saved the lives you know? that came after. Yeah. Their lives were You're gonna see, I think that must be the mom when she says, We love you. You can almost sense how sincere those words are. Eye contact made between her and, you know, Joe there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful reunion. These are the stories we need more of. Would forever be changed that day on December 27, 1978. What a beautiful moment. Of that life-changing day 45 years ago. Sylvia Fox would finally embrace the man who saved her family with tears of gratitude filling her eyes. And the same goes for Umar Fox. Good Umar, he's all grown up. I, I told you a hundred times, I'll say it again, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here, you know? My pleasure. Oh man, it's beautiful. 38 years of battling fires under his belt and says he is thrilled that after decades, the family successfully tracked him down. <laughs> I think it was a great thing uh, that we got this together. Yeah. You know, I got to meet one person that I helped get out of a fire, and he got to meet me. Love you, know. you Joe. Love you. Love you too, man. You know? Man. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that's going to make a grown man cry. We wouldn't be so, I just want to like, go back to we be that photo. So, it was said they said nine-year-old Lisa, so I'm assuming over here... On the right is Lisa, nine years old, and here is three-year-old Umar today. You can see he's 48 years old, so he's, you know, he's grown. <laughs> he's grown to be quite a big man. And right in the middle here is Joe rescuing them from the fire. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We wouldn't be here. I have wonderful children. My sister has great kids. You know, they're all grown up. They're doing big things right now. What you did, in turn, saved other people's lives and brought more into the world <laughs> that's beautiful that is beautiful indeed wow so it's, it's quite telling there from umar when he says you know you didn't just save our lives but we ended up creating new life in itself so that one moment ended up being a butterfly effect for more and more wonderful lives to you know thrive so you know it's it's just beautiful to see. We don't see enough of these stories. You know, I think oftentimes the news and these news outlets, you know, push negativity in the world because negativity and controversy sells, you know, those are the stories that we seem to be most interested in. But sometimes it's good to see some light in the world. We definitely need more of this in the world, you know, less division, less hate, less negativity and more light. So yeah, you know, when I saw this story today, it really just made my day. And as a result, I just wanted to share it with all of you. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that. As it stands, today is the 31st of December. So we're entering a new year. I really hope you guys have the best year ahead. Have an absolute amazing year. Make make good on those new year's resolutions please i'll try my best to do the same but yeah folks until next time i hope you have a good one enjoy time with your family cheers